this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, you're going to be rolling with the run heavy playbook on offense and also the multiple defense on defense is my basic playbooks. Not using any kind of custom plays. Everything's just going to be mutt ready. I'm rolling against the Chicago Bears. Once again, using the Atlanta Fal Falcons based on uh, a Patreon's request. It's just uh, working with this team. Um, on defense right here, once again, running the, using the 52 to kind of establish the run right here. And he uh, he jerks, uh, jukes a little bit too quick, and I think he loses some animation right there. So, you know, some pressure right here. I uh, got a guy coming off the edge and a, a nice little looping linebacker on the inside. And then I man up his guys. He actually started using um, a lot of the more common formations. These are, This guy was running with uh, basically uh, a lot of the, the plays that were the metas when the game released. So he's using a, the, the fake screen uh, play. He'll be using level sales. Um, so you'll see him initially actually struggle. So right here, I actually uh, go into just a cover four shell uh, and, and um, basically put everything up and get a nice um, a return, a turnover on downs against him. So right here, I actually come out of the spot route, looking for the spot underneath. Double team, but you can see the corner route was wide open with Julio Jones, so I'm able to go and settle and get a touchdown. Guys, that's going to be pretty, pretty much it for the scoring. There's not going to be a lot of scoring in this game uh, based on uh, how this starts becoming a big defensive battle. So don't think that there's a lot of scoring. I thought this might be a blowout fairly quick, but uh, this game becomes very interesting in the second half. So same with the 52 uh, uh, blitz right here. Pressure comes off. Nice spin move by Tariq Cohen, and he's just off for the races there's nobody in the area and I'm going to go ahead and get him down uh, by the nine yard line right here so back I think right here he goes once again uh, with uh, with a play he takes off with Tr Trubisky he's able to go and get a nice first down no huddles me <clears throat> again and actually goes ahead tries to go hit the sail route uh, comes back around and throws right into my defender and my defender actually comes out and just just stumbles out of there that should he should have just took that that should have been a pick six in real life so uh he's running a lot of cover four against me so basically what i did is i i i went to the pitch a lot and right here is just an inside zone because you can see cover four was pretty much the primary defense he plays i don't know why people run the same defense over and over again and i know what you're thinking hey prometheus you run that that, that cover two blitz i do try to change it up a little bit but um, and I also try to do coverage adjustments, but this guy was just running a basic generic cover four. So right here, I've got a streaking tight end. I've got the whip route pulling your defenders down, and you can see right here, uh, James or uh, Jones is actually wide open uh, for an easy completion across the middle of the field. Uh, little inside zone right here. I get some pretty good blocking right here, but look at uh, his his defensive tackle come off. So right here is another play, which is a tight end corner. And basically, I'm going to pop this Ridley over here, get a nice little animation uh, with a spin move, and get this ball down to the five yard, uh, six yard line. So feeling pretty good about myself. And this is where I start running into some struggles against this guy's defense. So uh, I throw, run, run right into his defensive back right here, and I'm actually he's running cover he's running cover four down in the red zone. He ran cover four the entire time. And one of the one of the routes I like to hit in the back of the end zone is going is that is that levels concept with the little with the the end route or the dig route in the back inside and I actually threw right almost into his defender right there so most important thing is settling for points going up by two scores so I actually go go up 10 to, 10 to 0 against this guy and <clears throat> staying with uh, with the play so he tries an inside zone uh, that 52 defense just completely shuts it down now I go ahead and jump into um, a uh, basically a man version of it I wanted to uh, just Miss, misses up his reads a little bit and he actually goes ahead and gets a nice little uh, completion with a flat and gets a first down out of it so right here he starts popping me he's actually quick snapping me I think he's no huddling yeah. me and he found a gap in my defense and I'm in a situation where I have to go ahead and take a timeout. So you can see I lost a timeout right there. Because he was just he was just popping popping that zone in the area of the field, and I had nobody out there. So uh, basically he takes off this quarterback. He actually makes a nice read. So this guy this guy knew what he was doing. I got a quick stop against him and actually put him in a good situation. Um, but this guy definitely had an idea of what he was doing on defense on offense, and it was it was running pretty much the same plays, but these are a lot of the same plays uh, that people used when the game dropped back in a while. So smartly, intelligently, he he actually takes the, the clock down completely and actually settles for three um, <clears throat> in that type of situation, getting, getting points on the board because he's only down by two possessions. I had a corner route right here. 
that's a spot route out of the tight end bunch. And once again, I'm going back to the tight end a bunch again. I've just I've been playing around with it. This is really a good play. Uh, I probably could have settled for underneath, and then actually all my reads are just gone. I actually throw across the middle of the field, and that ball just sails on me, but it's all right. He's, he had everything locked up. Drop down to this little uh, circle route by the running back, and right here, I, he's running cover four. The whip route brings the defender down, and I know the deep comeback route is wide open. So uh, another area of the field, too, and these are something I'm going to miss in my reads in future game plays is, is that, that uh, little uh, option route on that particular play is, is open. So right here, slide my guys over. I'm looking for the levels concept. He actually is playing Floyd off the left-hand side. I got rid of the ball a little bit too late, but if I would have waited a little bit longer, do it. So I, I came back to the same play again right here, and I figured he's going to be looking for that. So I hit the crossing guy that actually, guys, I, I audibled, which is Sanu. They're going to get a first down. So 26, uh, down to the 26-yard line. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and look to this. I'm going to put um, Jones on a spot route. I'm going to look to the wheel. And he actually plays the spot route. But look at this fake out. I got totally baited into the throw. Um, it's not realistic. It's not a realistic a animation. I know that's just, it's like Superman type situation. I understand that uh, Floyd is 6'6", six, six, but that's just, that's just just not realistic gameplay. And I hope they fix that in Madden 20 because you should not be able to Superman a, a pass. There's no way you should be able to be able to get to that. So uh, it's just me venting right now. I hope they fix it in Madden 20 that, you know, if you got a guy that's out of position, there's no way they can Superman that. So look at this. He actually finds a little corner route uh, with his play, but I get him in a fourth and 16. And uh, right here, he actually goes back to this route. My defender actually pulls off of his defender, uh, his wide receiver, Wheeler. He actually gets an another completion. So back to the inside zone. This defense was pretty much just closing down his run game. I will go into uh, the 43 version uh, 43 version of this. I go ahead and send blitz. and actually finds me right in the middle of the scene. That's a perfect read. I had to go out and slide uh, against his defenders. But he wasn't blocking anybody, but he was he was basically making good reads. And look at this. He takes off with this quarterback again. It is so annoying to play against someone that that can utilize their running with their quarterback in passing and actually can make reads. Right here actually settles down on a route right there actually throws it right in front of my defender and he gets away with it so defender makes no play on the ball and he does a little inside zone uh be able to get the ball down to the one yard line and uh, i think he made a couple different types of adjustments he flipped he went into a pitch play and there's no defense for that so three minutes and 30 seconds left 328 um i go ahead and uh, go back to this play again i figure freeman's gonna be wide open i'm gonna challenge this user and uh, the crossing around the back side. See, he reads it correctly. He makes the right read. He just gets himself out of position. He baited me. He really baited me right there. So looking for the whip route on the back and side. He carries up to the deep comeback route. And I'm actually taking off. Look at this. Okay, so watch this. I'm past the line of scrimmage. That's um, illegal procedure, uh, illegally throwing the ball forward right here. He gets an interception. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. The time, the, the clock is timed. It, it's basically, it's, there's, you know, basically the score is tied. And look at the score. Look at him. He's, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's think, thinking about it. Uh, you see, first and 10 on, on your own 25, or you want to go with the second and 13. He goes with the second and 13, giving me the ball back after you get a turnover. This is the biggest bonehead play I've ever seen in my life. He didn't understand the situation or he hit the wrong button, but he had an opportunity to win the game, and this is going to cost him the game right here. That decision right there is going to cost him the game So because um, I got a big repeat. I made, I made a huge mistake, but right here I hit a little crosser. Jones comes up big, gets smashed, but I'm able to go ahead and get the ball down to 35. I'm in field goal range if I can hit it. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So right now I'm going to just fake some audibles with, and go with the with the draw play because he's playing cover he's playing cover four. And cover four, if you leave it stock, is susceptible to draw play. So right here I go into a different play right here. He's not sending anybody. He's just using contains. I'm looking for the drag underneath, and right here I'm able to go and hit the corner out by the back end side, and Sanu comes down with a tough catch down when it matters. So ten minute, uh, a minute 10 left over. Uh, do a little draw play, a like little uh, spin move right there, get the ball down. Just chewing the clock down right now. Got it down to about the 37-yard line right here. And uh, this is a bad design in my plays. And this is something I put two guys in the same area. So essentially that just wasn't good right there. And I, I think I got rid of the ball right here. Now I jump into a totally different formation. He hasn't seen this at all. So I wanted to go ahead 
and t not give him any kind of reads. He crossmen one of my defenders, but you can see right here, uh, it, his defender was crossman, but not against my slot receiver. So Ridley's able to go ahead and get a touchdown and go up. So he's got a couple timeouts. He gets a good play right here. He's going to be fine. I'm, I'm going to say, okay, go ahead and beat me underneath and start burning your timeouts. And right here, I get a nice little reception to go ahead and tie this game up. So this guy's using a lot of old meta plays from the very beginning of the, uh, beginning of the game. Um, but I'm able to go ahead and close it out. He quits out, and I get another win. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thanks for support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more gameplay video up soon.